Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Gay From Scratch and today we are talking about Mixcraft, specifically Mixcraft 10.6, which is what I like to call the most idiot-proof DAW on Windows. I can tell you why, because I'm one of the biggest idiots you will find and I can use this program. Now I can't make any music with it, but I can operate it. So I'm going to show you uh, a, a very tone deaf person's guide to how you can make music easily. And the reason why I'm talking about Mixcraft specifically is because it is currently and finally available in a humble bundle. Uh, this is how I got Mixcraft in the first place back with Mixcraft 8, I think it was, and then 9 uh, in a later bundle. Now we're up to the most current version, which is 10.6. Now, I do want to point something out to you with this bundle. It's this 10.6 version, uh, it is the home version. It's only like a $35 purchase in the first place, so Mixcraft is quite affordable. Uh, but what you'll notice here is in the bundle, it's actually available at the medium tier here, so like $13 US, you can pick it up, so that's about a third of the regular price. And on top of that, if you buy the full bundle here at $25, bucks, you are also getting a number of Cherry Audio VSTs, and on top of that, a number of loop packs, MIDI packs, and so on. I'll show you some of these in action in just a bit. So if you're a musician, you're not caring at all about Mixcraft, while well, there's still a number of VSTs here available, uh, such as the uh, three-wheel organ, uh, this uh, synthesizer here, this synthesizer here, uh, some effects packs for VSTs as well, and then again, a number of loops, etc. But the thing that I'm most interested in here is Mixcraft 10.6. And what is the big deal about 10.6? Well, this version, they updated the UI. And I always found Mixcraft to be the easiest to use already. This new UI, it's just so much cleaner. Now, the home version does definitely have have some limitations. I think it's stuck at 16 tracks total, uh, which is like the number of instruments that you can have in here. Um, different different layers, like you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight go together to make this particular demo. By the way, we'll start with the one that's built in so you get an idea of what this is capable of, and let's go ahead. Okay, so that is the kind of thing that you can create using Mixcraft. And that's the last good sound you're going to hear. Now I'm gonna show you all of the features that are built in here uh, with a complete lack of musical talent. So this could get a little bit painful. So here you can see, this is Mixcraft. Again, a number of different tracks available right here. So let's just go ahead and get rid of these three or four default audio tracks it created because I don't need them. So what you're going to generally do is you will have tracks that you could record via MIDI. So for example here, this is using uh, a default acoustic piano. I'm going to come in here and we just edit it. So there you can see it set our track, set our track length over to there, for example. And then you can basically just start painting with music notes. So I could just go. Like so. And basically we can just paint into the world. There is our uh, piano track. And now MIDI is just mathematical uh, notes recording like on a scale. So what you can do at any particular time is you can actually switch these out to another instrument. So for example here, if I wanted to be an electric guitar instead, I could switch it over to a chorus guitar. And there you can see the end result of that. Or if I wanted it to be, uh, say percussion, make it drums. Let's go ahead. So you're gonna get a very, very different results. Now, another neat thing about this, and let's just, we'll cut that track. So let's go get rid of that. And I'll just do a drum track. So let's go here, instruments, boom. So we create a new instrument in here. Uh, and then we're gonna set that uh, to a drum. So let's go down here, go to percussion, drums, drum kit, uh, drum machine kit one. All right, there we go. Uh, you can also do it this way and use your uh, your normal keyboard. So if you've got like a QWERTY keyboard, literally you can just type notes on the keyboard like this. Or if you have a MIDI keyboard hooked up like I do, uh, we can just start doing notes that way. Just hit the record button right here. So there is our drum track. You can immediately see it down here. At any particular point in time, I can go ahead and we can just start editing these notes, moving them around as we see fit, change it up however you want, and then basically create your track that way. By the way, if you want to get rid of a note, it's as simple as coming in here and just like deleting it like so. So there we've just created our drum track. So we've got a bit of a pause there. We don't necessarily want that. So let's just go here. We'll move that up a little bit. You can also multi-select move things over like so, and that's how you can start recording music. Super simple. 
And again, I'm awful at music, and that's what is being shown here. Uh, on top of that, we can then start adding some effects on top. Super simple once again. Uh, so we've got a number of them that are built in. Now, that's one of the things that's really nice with Mixcraft that you won't find in a lot of the free things out there. It comes with a ton of instruments and a ton of, well, not a ton, but a decent amount of effects here as well. So let's say I wanted to add reverb in on top. We can go ahead. And there is our reverb. We change the frequency on that, the mix on that. Oh. All right, so let's go back. So there, our drums have all the reverb on them. Uh, and then another thing you're going to often do is bring in uh, those loops, which is basically recorded sound. So let's go ahead. We're going to go, uh, let's start off with a ukulele, and that's one of the things that we downloaded as a loop pack. And you see here, those loop packs come with uh, multiple different formats. Here are WAV files. We'll bring in a loop. I'm just going to randomly grab a ukulele of some kind. Uh, then we'll just boom. And then it's as easy as literally drag and drop in. And if you want to match things up, again, you can just go boom. And then what I could do is for my timeline to match, let's just match that right up there. And we'll click here on the timeline and we'll just loop it. So then that that is basically our sound right there. So now we have the ukulele and our incredible drum effects. <laughs> So I gotta admit, <laughs> it's awful, uh, but it does give you an idea of capabilities here. Now, one of the nice things with Mixcraft, once again, is it also comes with a ton of loops here. So if we want to get rid of my god-awful drum machine, which I don't know why you would ever want to do that, and bring in something that actually knows what they're doing, let's bring in some disco drums instead. Boom, drop that track in like that. Uh, and then here, let's go here. So there's our ukulele drum sounds going on, which uh, sounded maybe a little bit better. And now what we could potentially do, let's again, let's loop that out and make that the same length long. You can see how easy this ultimately is. What well, we could also bring in, uh, for example, into the same thing. This is another thing that's going on. There's a number of MIDI examples in this as well. So this is recorded MIDI files that you can use. So Cyberpunk here, for example, let's load up the waveform uh, version of it, go into the MIDI version and synth loops. And let's go bring in uh, 110 BPM synth pack right here, and then boom, drop that in. And then what you're gonna see here, we've got uh, just kind of a MIDI setup here. Let's go ahead and switch that over. So again, we want that to be some kind of a synth. So let's do synth guitar. All right, there we go. So that MIDI track is going to play that. And once again, let's loop that out to there. And now we've got that. <laughs> By the way, if you ever want to hear something just on its own, you can prick it up there. All right, that's a little boring. Let's bring something in a little bit more exciting. So let's bring in this one here as well. So let's go back over here, drop that in, boom. There we go. Yeah, that's definitely more exciting. But let's, again, bring it down to about the same amount. like So, and let's give that an instrument. Again, we want some kind of a synth. Um, Oh, I'm still solo there. So here, here is our new track. And now we can use it all together, like so. Now, if you find something a little bit more overwhelming, you just basically come into the mixer, pick the track that you're finding a little bit uh, obnoxious. So let's go to our disco track, for example. We can drop it down a little bit. We can drop something else down a little bit. So we're gonna have a very uh, ukulele heavy. And again, you can also come into any one of these and do an effect. So if I wanted to do an effect for the entire thing, I could do that right now. So this is one of the effects that's actually available here. Uh, it's Filmtomnica, which is uh, apparently emulating like a, a, an old Soviet uh, equalizer of some kind. Uh, we'll turn that one on right there. We'll go with a straight up preset 90s DJ. So obviously a very different sound from that. More. And then that's being applied to everything that you've just created, and that's how they all work together. So again, you have this nice library of uh, loops that are available here, a number of different loops that are gone. Uh, we again have a decent number of instruments, and then on topic of instruments, you're also getting a number of VSTs with this. VSTs generally are virtualized instruments, so let's go ahead and add one of those in. So here is the instrument, let's go ahead and add that in. You're gonna see VSTi, and we got a couple different ones here. So for example, this is part of it, and then this, so there you can see uh, a synth, 
so. And there's a ton of presets for if you want to have it sounding like a certain way, like dark mood. Like so. Or we change out to that other synth, like here, and you're gonna see a very different synth at this point in time, because this is a three row organ. And then if you want, you can go in here, set up the various different values for it, like so. And then we can go into performance mode if we were using a, a MIDI keyboard to go with it. And then you are done. So there's basically all the bits you need to go together. Another part I could do is actually add in like a voice recording and sing. I'm not going to do that to you guys, I promise. Uh, and then the one last neat thing. So if I want to go ahead and export this out, boom, I just mix it down. So you can see MP3, Og Vorbis, WMA, Wave, FLAC. So that's all you need to do to make an MP3 file of your masterpiece. Literally just mix it down to it and then it will save it as an MP3. The neat thing that we can also do, and I think this is new to 10.x, I can also add in a video file. For example, here, this is a video I did earlier on. This is uh, the video I did for Bevy. Okay, it just happens to be still on my desktop. Uh, I'll go ahead and delete the audio voiceover I already did for that. Uh, and now we can actually go ahead and see this here. And we're going to get our audio on top of our video. So you can see over here, we're going to start transitioning in a second. So if you're doing a soundtrack for a movie, very simple to do. You do it that way there as well. You can see the entire thing up there. And then if you want, now you can just go ahead and mix down. And you also have the option to export that out as MP4, AVI, or WMV file as well. So you can see here, this is as simple as it gets when it comes to making music, at least in my humble opinion. There are other options out there. Again, one of the most common, uh, cheap, free-ish ones is Reaper. There's all those also LMMS and a number of others I've covered over time. But of all of them, when it goes back to something, when I'm trying out a new VST or something, it's always Mixcraft that I head back to. Because again, I find this as simple to work with as any program out there. Um, and I find at least if, if you're beginner-ish, the home version is going to be more than enough to work with. And again, it's available here uh, in this bundle, a number of other things in here as well, tracks, VSTs, etc. cetera. Uh, by the way, if you do purchase this bundle, it does help support games from scratch. So I very much appreciate that one. And if you're just interested in Mixcraft, do know, again, it's actually in this like 13-ish dollar tier that it's available there right now. And Mixcraft is generally only like 35 bucks anyways, but it's still a pretty sizable savings over the full price version. Or again, get the whole bundle, you get a ton of loops, you get um, MIDI tracks, VSTs, etc., to go with it as well. So let me know what you think. Have you ever used an easier DAW? If so, please do let me know what it is, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.